Metro Manila Expressway. Phase 1 Project. The Metro Manila Expressway Phase 1 Project, or MME1, is envisioned as a new toll road that would connect the province of Rizal to the rest of Metro Manila and Calabarzon. It will provide a faster alternate route for Rizal motorists and commuters who are now constrained to pass through the heavily traffic congested EDSA and C5 when traveling to the north or south. MME1 spans 34 kilometers of semi-elevated 2x3 lane tollway from Skyway FTI to the Batasang Pambansa complex in Quezon City. It shall pass through the cities or municipalities of Taguig, Taytay, Antipolo, San Mateo, and Quezon City. By close proximity, it would also benefit motorists to and from Paranaque, Pasay, Makati, Pateros, Pasig, Cainta, Angono, and Marikina. When Phase 2 and 3 are completed, MME would eventually benefit motorists heading and coming from Rodriguez Rizal, San Jose del Monte, Maykawayan, and Marilao Bulacan, and the northern part of Caloocan City. MME1 consists of six sections and five interchanges located at Skyway FTI, C5, C6 Taguig, Ortigas Avenue Extension, and Marcos Highway and a main toll plaza around 3 kilometers from the Batasang Pambansa complex. Section 1 starts at an interchange link to the Skyway, crosses the FDI complex, turns north to C5, and ends near the Heritage Park Lagoon. The Skyway FDI interchange would help accelerate the construction inside FDI of the South Integrated Transport System that would help ease the traffic congestion in Metro Manila by accommodating the operations of the provincial buses flying South Luzon. There would be three toll plazas in FDI, or ARCA South, as the Ayala Group now calls the complex. One exclusively for buses and vehicles in and out of the future South Integrated Transport System. Another for vehicles to and from the main Skyway line. And another one to serve vehicles to and from MME1. At the C5 interchange, there would be six toll booths to serve motorists coming in from C5 and another six to serve those motorists exiting to C5. It shall provide access to the vast and mushrooming residential communities in the Gig City. Section 2 turns southeast across Barangay Spinagsamahan Village, North Signal Village, Katuparan Village, and San Miguel, and ends at C6 in Barangay Hagonoy, Taguig City. At the C6 interchange, there would be six entry booths and six exit booths for motorists to and from Lower Bikutan and its vicinity. Section 3 follows the shoreline of Laguna de Bay, heading north along C6 crosses Pasig River and the Manila East Road, then ends at Ortigas Avenue Extension. At the Ortigas Avenue Extension interchange, six entry booths and six exit booths would serve motorists to and from the Tikling Junction, Taytay Diversion Road, and the Manila East Road. Section 4 heads north from Ortigas Avenue Extension, crosses Sumulo Highway, and ends at Marcos Highway. The Marcos Highway interchange consists of two access points. On the west side, three toll booths each would serve inbound vehicles heading south and outbound vehicles coming from the north. On the east side, three toll booths each would accommodate northbound motorists and those exiting from the south. A new service road would be constructed to provide access to and from Sumulong Highway. Section 5 starts at Marcos Highway and ends at the Tumana Bridge. Around 1.5 kilometers east of the Tumana Bridge, a main toll plaza consisting of eight toll booths each to serve inbound and outbound motorists would be constructed. Motorists to and from San Mateo Rizal would have access to MME1 through entry and exit points at JP Rizal Street. Section 6 crosses Tumana Bridge continues parallel to the Batasan-San Mateo Road, 
and ends at the Batasan Pambagsa Complex along the IVP Road. With its north to south alignment and its link to the Skyway, MME Phase 1 shall provide faster accessibility, mobility, and connectivity to spur the economic growth of East Mega Manila and eventually the province of Rizal. Opening to serve you in 48 months. The Metro Manila Expressway Phase 1 Project. Rizal's Roadmap for Progress.